welcome back to the channel if y'all are new here my name is brenda i like to film lifestyle vlogs so if you're into that kind of thing please support my channel by clicking subscribe welcome back to vlogmas i am going to be sharing how i decorate our bedroom in this video yes you better believe that i have not had a chance to decorate our bedroom and living with my parents means that basically our bedroom is our personal space but i don't have a lot of pieces for our bedroom because this year i wanted to work with what i already have if y'all have seen my gift wrapping video in that video i share some items that i had bought at the dollar tree which i'm going to be kind of like diying with you in just a little bit but first let's go get some starbucks coffee because we need that coffee starbies has been retrieved Oh, this tastes amazing. I wish you could taste it. Come on. No. Oh, it tastes so good. We also ended up getting a sugar cookie. Let me show y'all. Oh my gosh, we need to do Christmas cookie decorating coming very soon. Did you want to try a piece? Mm, maybe later. Well, you know later it's not going to be here. This box, this box right here has the remaining decorations that we need for this space so it's not much because what's in here is just basically garland which i really want to decorate we have some christmas themed blankets i really like this one because it's very like santa claus status as y'all can see it's super cute and then we have this one as well we have some hats that i'm going to be putting here on top of my guitar we have a couple of frames here that say Tis the Season and Deck the Halls that I got at Kirkland's last year. So I think that'll go very well with the blanket, the black and white blanket. And then we have some of the ornaments here. We have more Santa Claus hats and then we have this gnome. So not very much. I think the main part is maybe DIYing the garland to make sure that we can hang it maybe on the window area. And then obviously we have this snowman that will not be staying there. I just hung it there because I just, <laughs> I didn't know where else to put it. So I just put it there for now. Oh, and then also I have this really cute um, Christmas countdown. It's super cool because it says, Welcome to California's winter wonderland. And then with a piece of chalk, you just put in the days. First and foremost, we are going to figure out how to put the garland, jazz it up a little bit. We are going to stick to a good pattern. So let me stage it first to see how long, I mean, I'm sure this, this is long enough for a window to hang above the window. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to just work my way through with some of these ornaments here. We're gonna do the red ones. And let me just spread out a blanket because this is so glittery. If y'all have seen the struggle that I went through to get our green blanket. So we're not gonna mess this up. Let's go ahead and just work our way through the garland. Hopefully it looks cute by the end of this. Since these are super sparkly, then I think I'm just gonna stick with the matte ones and see how it looks like that. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our hooks right here. hard to do so from the bed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hang this up. I put a couple nails on the wall. That looks very 90s to me, which is like not, it's not bad, but it's not like, it's not super cute, but. So I'm gonna continue hanging the ornaments and then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna fix this unevenness.
Now I'm moving on to decorate above our bed frame. So hubby is helping me by putting in the nail in the wall because he's just so precise when it comes to these type of things. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Here you go. Hubby is helping me hang this snowman because after we are going to decide how far below the frames need to go. So these are the frames. This is the first one. You want these here? Yeah, remember how we had them on my desk? Do you want them like that? Either like side by side, maybe not like that how we had it, maybe just side by side to make it simple. Like that? Yeah. So again, this is one of the frames that we want to hang that I would like to hang next to the snowman. So my husband is helping me put the nails again on the wall. All right, let's go ahead and hang this one. He gets to do the fun part and actually hang the decor. To maybe hang some lights on the actual bed frame. This is actually my husband's idea. So we're just gonna see because I told him we need some lights in here, so we're gonna see if this works. It's like super like amateur decorating, but we're working with what we have. We'll show y'all when everything's all tied together. Now it's time to line up some of the pine cones on top of the mirror. I just added this sparkly garland here. And also we ended up changing out the lights from the bed and I've added a few touches in here. The room is basically done. I didn't film some of those parts because they're just like easy little things, but I'm gonna show y'all when I'm done putting these pine cones here. I'm gonna go with the snow themed and keep that term in mind, snow themed, because y'all are gonna see what I mean. Let's stop right there. Let's show them that we moved our original wreath that we initially put on our home decor video. Y'all watch that video, I'll put it in the little screen here. We put it here in our room. Love this, very farm housing. Now come on in. This black and white is very cohesive with this Kirkland's blanket that we got last year. So we are reusing the decor. We did not go out of our way to make this room look the way it looks like. Obviously, it's not super duper professional home decor status. It was supposed to be fun and creative and just quirky, nothing too like fancy and serious. So I think we accomplished that. If we show them here, we put the mistletoe on top. If y'all remember that I bought this at on sale for 30% off at Target a couple weeks ago. But anyway, we have the red and white pillows here on the bed that contrast very well with the color of the bed comforter. If y'all remember me explaining that I chose the color of this comforter because it's pretty versatile for the whole year. This color is very nice for spring, fall, winter, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like it's working really well right now for Christmas. And here, my favorite place of the bedroom. We have Mr. Snowman. We found a place for this snowman and these mini cute creative little frames that have ornaments and snowflakes that coincide with the black and white frosty look that we went for to kind of make it look like a little winter wonderland in here. 
on the nightstand, we have this frosted mini Christmas tree wrapped around some burlap, super cute. And I just added the ornaments that we got at the Dollar Tree. So you see people, you don't have to break the bank to make something look super cute. And then with this, I cut off some of the garland that we had. I did a little nest and I grabbed some of the pine cones that we got at Kirkland's last year and I just put it there. What's cool about this is that it actually smells like cinnamon. My husband sleeps on this side, so hubby, he's holding the camera. He's gonna smell cinnamon as he's sleeping at night. And obviously my 90s look, everybody. I had mentioned to y'all that I believe that this look is very 90s, but you know what? It's all good, it works. I love how quirky it looks with these fun teardrop or whatever these type of ornaments are. I added this wreath from Target that I got as well on sale. Really like the style of this greenery. Pretty fancy, love it. And it has jute string on top, which is very farmhousey. In my desk area, we have my Christmas books that I am reading trying to finish them, have been unable to finish them. Also added the Santa Claus blanket on the chair to make it look very, very cute in here. On my side of the room, we added a rug. This rug technically can go any anywhere. I had placed this rug in our kitchen area in our apartment, we're not there anymore, so I decided why not bring it here, it looks cute. I kind of feel like the pattern clashes with the blanket, but again, because we're not going for a super serious look, we're going for a fun, creative look, I feel like it works well. On the nightstand, we have my winter candy apple that my sister gifted me earlier this month, and it's almost done, but we're still, you know, lighting that, and we have this beautiful gnome. I forget where I picked this up, do you remember? Was it Kirkland's? I can't remember, it doesn't say at the bottom. <laughs> the gnome is super cute and then this is my favorite Christmas countdown we need some chalk so we might take another trip to the Dollar Tree so that we can write down the days till Christmas I just cut off some garland and I wrapped it around the frame just to kind of make it look super Christmassy in here and last but not least here behind the door last but not least here I added some of this garland this gold one around the frame and I just added the frosted theme type of pine cones to kind of tie in the look with the frosted pine tree, frosted pine cones, and obviously the frosted wreath, the black and white pattern. So anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel for more videos to come, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.